Hi, welcome to Derek Does. Today, we're gonna do this. Well, if you're wondering what this is, you're probably not really wondering what this is. You know, this is a guitar, but what guitar is it in this case? I'm gonna show you this guitar. I'm gonna talk about the guitar, kind of its history, how long I've had it, where I got it, stuff like that. And maybe you'll learn a little bit. Uh, if you're looking for an old guitar, uh, this might be that type of guitar that you're looking for. I don't know, let's take a look. So let's just get right to it. This is a guitar case I bought. Uh, this is actually a Gator case to hold this guitar. Uh, and I'll, let me just open it up and then I'll talk about the case. I'll talk about the guitar and things along that nature. So it's a nice hard shell case. It's got three locks on it, but here is the guitar inside. This is a Gibson LG, and I've dated it, I believe, to 1951. Let's take it out. It's just a beautiful guitar. It is not new by any means. It is not mint by any means, but it is loved by every means. I'll put it on its case or its stand. So here it is on a stand so you can see it a little better. This is a small body guitar, has a spruce top and a sunburst with mahogany on the sides and I believe the, uh, the board here to itself. Um, let me turn it around so you see it's a very light guitar and that could be because it's a smaller body. This was my first guitar. Uh, this is the guitar I kind of learned to play on. It's just the patina on this thing is just amazing. Uh, I really love this guitar. I took this guitar to college and um, <laughs> surprisingly I left it in the dorm and I still have it. So that's how safe it was back then. Uh, I don't know today if you could take an old vintage Gibson and still have it when you graduate. Um, you can see it was played lots of pick scratches on it. Uh, actually, a left-hander might have been playing this because of so much here. I'm not sure. It's pretty much all original. I've never taken it in to be restored. The only thing I've done to it, obviously, is new strings. I've cleaned it up, and I have replaced each of uh, whatever these are called, the, the finger pieces, the plastic, because the originals had just deteriorated just terribly over time. And you can even see this had taken a, this was, as I got it, it's, it's bent here, so it had taken a fall at one time. Uh, this is all original, uh, the actual uh, tightening everything here, but the actual pieces here I did replace with uh, official uh, reproduction for this type and year of model. If you look inside, you can actually see the model number. There it is, LG2. And if you look back here, uh, if you can see it, get the light just right. There you go. 602732. Uh, I believe 51 was the last year that they did just numbers. And in 52, they added uh, letters again, like they used to do in the 40s. So this Gibson was my mother's guitar uh, originally. I got it uh, when I went to college, I wanted to learn the guitar. And of course back then, the internet really wasn't a thing to learn guitar, so I had to do it with books and uh, some buddies showed me. So basically I'm just a chords guy. I'm no major guitarist, 
but I do play guitar, uh, chords and that sort of thing, and I enjoy it. Uh, I've come up with some songs and that sort of thing too. And I, and I all started on this guitar. The guitar originally came in a flimsy cardboard case that was uh, embellished or pressed with like an alligator looking hide was the original case, but it had fallen apart. Just again, it was even worse than what the guitar looks like in shape. Uh, but uh, so I got a new, well, here's what happened. So when I finished college, I still had a neck case and I gave it back to my mother because it was her guitar. Uh, and I'll tell you how she got it. She got it because back in the 60s, she wanted to be like every person, a folk singer, because that was the huge thing. And she wanted a guitar. And so she told her mom she wanted a guitar. And her mom, my grandmother, bought this guitar at an estate, not an estate sale, actually at a garage sale, I believe. It was a garage sale uh, somewhere in Pittsburgh, uh, where my mother's from, uh, was where this guitar came from. So I, you know my grandmother at a garage sale probably paid a buck or two or something like that, maybe five bucks for a guitar. Uh, and that's where it came from. And then my mom played it uh, through her college year, that sort of uh, thing. And then uh, eventually I got it because uh, that was the only guitar we had. I wanted to learn guitar and I kind of learned chords and some simple things. I'm not a great guitarist by any means, um, as I said, but and then I gave it back to my mom uh, so that uh, it was her guitar. And then I bought a guitar at a pawn shop, uh, a Fender, uh, from as a Korean-made Fender from the 80s and that sort of thing. I still have it. And uh, that was kind of my guitar. And then my mom was cleaning out. She was moving, and she asked if I wanted the guitar. And I said, of course. Uh, but we couldn't, like, mail it. I, she was too far away for me just to pick it up. So I bought a case on, I think, on Amazon and I had it shipped. The case I had to ship to her. I bought a particular case that did the measurements and everything, and it actually fits like a glove, like you saw at the beginning. And I'll put a link below uh, if you have a similar smaller body Gibson or any of the type of guitars that want to fit a really nice case for it, a hard shell, uh, you can buy that case. It's a really nice case. And then I, she shipped it uh, to me in California and it made it fine and i've had it ever since so um i'll play a little bit it it doesn't keep the best of tune um as you saw the pieces up here are original uh they do sway a little bit so it's kind of always out of tune a little bit but uh it just has a really nice a nice sound to it Just sounds nice it's just a nice like the i think the the fretboard up here has kind of maybe twisted just a little or this way that um the uh, this this string is kind of kidding it a little bit um my hand was on it but it's just a really nice guitar it's a sunburst uh front and as i mentioned it was uh, i believe it's uh mahogany on the sides with spruce on the front uh, and obviously this was still and they still are made in the USA but back then this is this is a uh, classic guitar um, again I only do chords I don't do anything crazy uh, but it just sounds good, and most of the folk music that this guitar came from, that vintage, would have been chords anyway. Uh, but this, again, is the LG2 Gibson guitar. It still has all the original, everything, again, as I mentioned. Uh, it's just, it looks like it's been well-loved, and it has been well-loved uh, from at least three people. Uh, myself, my mom, and whoever originally bought this brand new, I'm assuming. Uh, if you, if you uh, see that maybe I had the numbers wrong, or maybe you're a guitar expert and you can tell me more about it, because I don't know. I just know it's a great guitar. It's a nice small guitar. I mean, it's not small. It's like a kid size, but it's just a smaller body as opposed to my Fender, which is bigger. Uh, but 
this is it. I thought I'd just show you, uh, kind of showing you different things, and I thought, hey, I'll show you a guitar, kind of cool. Uh, so uh, if you like this sort of content, I may not have many more guitars. Uh, maybe I can show you my Fender, but it's really not vintage, it's from the 80s. Uh, but if you like this sort of content, please subscribe. Uh, obviously, I'm going to have a lot of guy stuff, uh, vintage stuff, that it's just stuff, you know, that's just cool stuff uh, that maybe you realize, you know, even if you don't play guitar. With today's internet, you can get on there and you can get the chords and everything for pretty much any song and you can learn and there's videos on YouTube of people showing you how to how to play and that sort of thing. It's just I didn't have that when I started and that's probably why I'm not that great at it because when I kind of learned to play guitar, I taught myself and I only have myself to blame, but that's how it goes. But uh, this is it. I'll show you the case too, just in case you want to see that, in case that's something that interests you. Uh, for maybe an older, uh, smaller body guitar that maybe you have. And maybe they sell cases that are bigger. I'm sure they do. It's a really nice case. A uh, lot better than the original case. Obviously, the original case, I kind of wish I still had it just because it is original Gibson case. But I don't, so I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, so I'm going to see you on the next video. And I'll, I'll play us out. There's a gator. It's got a really nice, soft, velvety everything. It's got a little uh, thing here. Oh, these are actually uh, two. Maybe I only put four of them on there. Maybe the other two were okay. Uh, these were um, the tuners. And I'll show you the guitar fits in there just perfect. Like it was made for it. Closes it up. Safe and sound.